it's time to do any road test. When you come up with the examiner, he's going to get you to sign all the paperwork. Then he's going to explain that he wants you to do under the hood, your external pre-trip, and then an air brake. So to begin, the first thing you want to do is look underneath, make sure there's no apparent leaks. Then you're going to go to your door. You're going to uh, turn your four-way flashers on. Grab your documentation and you want to uh, start right at your door. My four ways are working. You're looking up and down to make sure nothing's falling off your truck. When you come to the back, you want to make sure your blocks are in place. Carry on walking around. My four ways are working. Four ways are working. When you get to the front, you're explaining your four ways are working. Now you can check your documentation. So your documentation consists of making sure you have a copy of the National Safety Code. We have a trip inspection report for the school. You're making sure your pink card is valid. You're making sure that your license plate matches on your registration. You're making sure because there's no more stickers that your date matches as well. We have proof of insurance and it's valid till 2022. Now you're going to go to your door and check your CVIP sticker. CVIP sticker matches the top sticker number here, making sure that it belongs to your unit and is valid for one year from this date. I have my safety fitness certificate, which reads continuous, and I have a collision report just in case. So now that my documentation is done, you're going to put your documentation away, turn your four-way flashers off, and explain that uh, now that I... Uh, I am going to do an underhood inspection. You're going to undo your latches, explaining your wheels are blocked or chalked. Now you're going to look in between, make sure that your hinges are accurate and not broken, and then you're going to lift your hood. Sometimes the hood sticks, so if you, you find it really, really tough, go to the side and pick it up from the side. Walk it up carefully and slowly, and control. So now we can do under the hood inspection. My air filter is secure. My filler cap is secure. My rad support is secure. My coolant level is adequate and my caps are secure. My hood straps all appear to be good and secure. Now I'm checking my radiator. My fan blades, fan belts, and fan shroud all appear to be good and secure. Checking the side of my engine for any leaks, looking at my compressor and my governor. You want to pull your dipstick and check your oil. We have adequate fluid. Now I'm checking all my hoses, my clamps, my wiring. All appear to be good and secure. Uh, my steering shaft appears to be good and secure. Steering box, steering linkage, all appear to be good and secure. And my castle nuts and cotter pins are in place. My power steering has adequate fluid and my caps are secure. My fuel filter appears to be good and no apparent leaks. My air dryer is secure. Now I'm checking my frame, my springs, U-bolt, axle and shock all appear to be good and secure. Checking my brake chamber, slack adjuster and all my airlines appear to be good and secure. Checking the inside of my tire for any leaks or bulges and cracks. We're now done this side of the engine. So we're gonna go to the other side now. My air filter appears to be good and secure. My rad support is secure. My hood straps are all secure. So now I'm looking at my radiator for any leaks. My fan blades, fan belts, fan shroud, and alternator all appear to be good and secure. My hoses, my clamps, and my wiring are all secure. My after cooler and turbo appear to be good. I don't see any leaks from the turbo or the side of my engine. My windshield washer needs to be three quarters full to full and always carry a spare jug. My frame, spring, U-bolt, axle, and shock all appear to be good and secure. Brake chamber, slack adjuster, and airlines all appear to be good and secure. Checking the inside of my tire for any leaks or any bulges and cracks. That now completes under the hood inspection. So when you close your hood now, you want to make sure that you secure it immediately. So 
now that the under the hood inspection is done, I can set myself up to do an external pre-trip. My wheels are blocked. You're going to get into the cab of your truck. Put your key in the on position. Turn on your headlights, your high beam, left signal light. You're going to take the seal off the dash, put it behind your trailer brake handle. This activates your brake lights. When you step out using three-point contact, grab your hammer, set it on the step or keep it in your hand, your choice. Then you're going to come to the front of the truck, explaining that my roof appears to be good, my signage is clean and clear, my clearance lights are working. Windshields uh, appear to be good and windshield wipers appear to be good. Take a step forward, grab your hood, hood is secure. Hood, grill and bumper all appear to be good, no new body damage. My license plate is secure. High beams are working, signal light and marker light are working. High beams are working, signal light is working. Just double checking your hood strap for securement. My mud flap and fender appear to be good, no new body damage. My mirror is secure. Now I'm checking the tra tread of my tire for even wear. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks. Lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, making sure you're touching each and every lug nut. Center up for any oil leaks, fluid levels, your valve stem is centered and capped. Signal light is working, my mirror is secure, my window appears to be good. You want to open your door a couple times, making sure it opens and closes properly. Now you're going to test your windows up and down. Step up on the step if you need to, to make sure you're not locking yourself out of your truck. And you can keep the window down if it's nice out. My grab handle is secure. At this point, you're going to pick up your hammer. So now I'm checking my batteries. All appear to be good and secure. My DEF tank appears to be secure and my cap is secure. My steps are secure. No new body damage. My windows are secure. Uh, secure my storage compartment is secure and inside I have a fi uh, first aid kit and my emergency triangles ask the examiner if you'd like to see him if he says yes then you're going to go to your door and open up your compartment and show him everything if he says no carry on just carry on in this case we have our triangles and our first aid kit now I'm going to check my fuel tank fuel your straps, fuel tank, fuel vent, fuel cap all appear to be good. I would do a visual of my fuel because I never trust my gauges. I'm looking underneath, no apparent leaks and my steps are secure. My work light appears to be secure. Now we're checking the back of the truck. No new body damage. My air lines and my electrical lines are secure. My cab uh, shocks and airbags are all secure. Now I'm looking underneath. I'm checking my drive shaft my electrical lines and my air lines. Now I'm checking my catwalk, cross member and frame all appear to be good and secure. My heater is secure. Mud flap and fender are secure and they're not rubbing on my tires. Position yourself between your wheels. Starting with fifth wheel and frame appear to be good. Now I'm looking underneath and you want to look both directions. You're checking your uh, for any leaks or obstructions. Now I'm checking my axle, suspension and springs. Now I'm checking my cross members, my airbags, and my shocks. Now I'm checking my brake chamber, slack adjuster, and all my air lines. Checking inside of both tires for any leaks or bulges and cracks. Between both sets of tires for any obstructions. Checking all my treads. Then you want to brake off individually. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks. Lug nuts for securement and shiny spots. Center up from any oil leaks. Both valve stems centered and capped. Smack your tires, check your tire pressure. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks, both valve stems centered and capped. Smack your tires, check your tire pressure. Reminding them your wheels are blocked. Mud flap is secure, not rubbing. Position yourself in the middle at the back, starting with my back drive shaft appears to be good and secure. My axle supports are secure. My electrical lines and air lines all appear to be good and secure. My frame and cross members are secure. My reflectors and reflective tape are in place. My signal light's working, brake light and tail light are working. If this was a regular three ton, it would have a license plate and a license plate light on the back. 
Mud flap is secure, not rubbing. Again, position yourself between your wheels, starting with fifth wheel and frame, appear to be good. Now I'm looking underneath for any leaks or obstructions. Now I'm checking my axle, suspension and springs, checking my cross members, my airbags and my shocks. Now I'm checking my brake chamber, slack adjuster and all air lines. Checking insides of both tires for any leaks or bulges and cracks. Between both sets of tires for any obstructions, checking all my treads. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, center hub for any oil leaks, bolt valve stem, center to cap, smack your tires, checking tire pressure. Outside for bulges and cracks, rim for cracks, lug nuts for securement and shiny spots, center up for any oil leaks, bolt valve stem, center to cap, smack your tires, checking tire pressure. This is where you can group everything. Mud flap, cross member, catwalk and frame all appear to be good and secure. Turn yourself around, looking underneath at my drive shaft, my electrical lines, my air lines. Now I'm checking out my exhaust, no apparent leaks. My airbags and shocks appear to be good and secure. My handle is secure. My chain hanger and steps are secure. Work light appears to be good and secure. No new body damage. My windows and my doors are all secure. So now I'm going to check my fuel tank. Fuel straps, fuel cap, and fuel vent all appear to be good and secure. Again, I would do a visual on the fuel because I don't trust my gauges. Looking underneath, no apparent leaks, and my steps are secure. Window appears to be good. Mirror is secure. My door opens and closes properly. Test your window up and down. Again, step up on the step if you need to so as you don't lock yourself out the door. My grab handle is secure. My steps are secure. Marker light and signal light are working. Hood strap is secure. Mud flap and fender appear to be good, no new body damage. My mirror is secure. So now I'm checking my tread for even wear. Outside for bulges and cracks. Rim for cracks. Lug nuts for securement and shiny spots. Center up for new oil leaks, fluid levels, and my valve stem is centered and capped. At this point, you're just gonna walk around Put your hammer away, secure it. Reach up, turn your high beam off, put a right signal light on. So this walk around is gonna be just a little bit quicker. It just starts with signal light and marker light. And you gotta carry on. Brake light and tail light, signal light. Signal light. Signal light and low beam low beam and marker light. At this point, you're going to get into your truck. First thing you want to do when you hop into your truck is remove your seal. Turn off your headlights and then you want to start your truck. Explaining that my oil pressure gauge should come up within 30 seconds of starting, which it did. My voltage gauge is working. My temperature gauge is working. RPM gauge is working. Air gauges appear to be working. And my fuel gauge appears to be good. Right signal light is working. Turn it off. Left signal light. Turn it off. Windshield wiper and washer fluid. Turn them off. Four-way flasher. Turn them off. Check your fan on all speeds. Give it a minute to kick in. Then you're gonna test your steering wheel horn and your air horn. Then you're gonna grab your seat belt. You're looking for any frays, making sure it clips in and out properly. Looking down, you also have a, a charged and pinned fire extinguisher. You're gonna look up above and below and explain there's no loose objects and my four areas clean and clear. My pre-trip is now done. I can set myself up now for my air brake test. My wheels are blocked. I have full air. You're gonna shut the truck off, put the key back in the on position, push in your yellow button, start pumping your brakes down, explaining I'm waiting for my low air warning to come on at 60 PSI. When it comes on, then you're gonna continue pumping until your button pops out between 20 and 45. Now, sometimes when the trucks have a light pull out you want to hold your finger there so as you can tell when it pops out the minute it pops out you're going to start your truck 
bring your RPM to 1200 and explain you're going to do a compressor test. And you're going to time your gauges between 50 to 90, should be three minutes or less. The minute your timing is done, now you're explaining and waiting for my governor to cut out between 120 and 135. That's where you're going to hear the purge on the truck. When that happens, then you're going to take your foot off the gas, push in your yellow button, explain that you're reducing your air down 20 to 25 PSI below where it just cut out at. If need to, pump your brake once or twice. Step back on your gas, bring your RPM up to 1200, explaining that uh, um, your gauges are now going up, so that confirms your governor cut in, waiting for it to cut out the second time. The minute it cuts out the second time, then you're going to take and shut your truck off, put the key back in the on position, wait for your gauges to go up and back, and then you're going to do a full brake application. Start your timer after your gauges have stabilized, explaining that I'm doing a leak test. And in the next two minutes, I can't lose any more than four PSI. The minute your two minutes are up, as you take your foot off the brake, pull your buttons immediately. Do not play with your phone or your timer. Pull your buttons immediately. Because your next step is to get out and remove your chalk blocks, put them on the barrel or block beside your truck, come back in, put a seat belt on, start your truck, put yourself in gear to go, start rolling forward, foot brake and stop. My air brake tests are now complete.